How to prepare for a job interview. Once you have prepared the resume and cover letter, it is time to prepare for a job interview. You should start preparing as soon as you start looking for a job because you could receive a call for a job interview at any moment. In order to do this, you should 1. Have a folder ready with several printed copies of your resume as well as evidence of your academic titles, certifications, and employment eligibility documents. An interviewer can ask to see these documents. 2. Prepare clothing that is suitable for the interview process. It should be ready, clean, and pressed. 3. Research the employer on the internet to learn about the company's product, culture, and history. 4. Understand the basic duties of the position to which you are applying. Review the vacancy announcement and the responsibilities of the position. Remember, duties can vary according to the needs of the company. 5. Prepare possible answers to the most common interview questions. We will see some examples later. 6. Prepare questions that you can ask the interviewer about the position, company, and job offer. 7. Practice, practice, practice. Search for information about the company and the duties of the position to which you are applying. Often, we apply to a vacancy because we have already performed those duties in a previous job or because we want to acquire additional skills or progress in another industry. Advertisements published by employers do not necessarily include all the duties of a position because they can vary according to operational needs. You should seem prepared, skilled, and flexible during the interview process. This will help you grow in the company once you get the position. Where can we find information? ONET Online is a website that provides detailed job descriptions and offers additional information regarding labor market information, skills, and knowledge required, and more. It is an excellent tool to prepare your resume using correct terminology. Indeed and Monster also offer this type of information. Types of Interviews 1. Screening Interview after reviewing your resume, an interviewer will give you a phone call to determine if you meet the basic requirements for the position, experience, academic degree, skills, and salary expectations. Some employers take advantage of screening interviews to administer tests via email. It is important to complete these tests within the given time because you will be given a score that will be considered when deciding if you will continue in the selection process. If you pre-qualify, they will offer you a face-to-face -face interview. 2. Face-to-face -face interview This is a one-on-one -on -one interview between the candidate and a recruiter or human resources representative. Aside from the reviewing screening interview details, it is used to determine if the candidate fits the cultural profile of the company. 3. Second interview the candidate is interviewed by management or executives. It can be an individual interview or a group interview. Questions are more technical and complex. 4. Third interview. If necessary, you could be scheduled for an interview with the director, president, or CEO of the company. This person will make the final decision about the candidate. 5. Background check. This is usually the final step when making a sensible hiring decision and protecting the employer from potential risks. Common Interview Questions A job interview will consist of several questions. Each recruiter will have a specific style, but these questions will generally cover the following. 1. Introduction The interviewer will introduce themselves and ask you about the position to which you are applying and if you know about the company. These questions will determine if you research the company. This is the time to introduce yourself, indicate your interest in working for the company, and selling your professional profile. 2. Tell me about yourself. You will have one to three minutes to sell yourself. 
Some will consider this one of the most difficult questions to answer during the entire process because it can be challenging to focus on your positive qualities and explain why the company should hire you. Use professional vocabulary. Mind your posture and watch your body language. Talk about your professional and academic background, your achievements and career goals. Avoid talking about your personal life. Prepare a script and practice it. A. First, talk about relevant work experiences and achievements. I have worked in the health industry for eight years. I most recently worked as a practice nurse at a hospital. One of the main reasons that I enjoy my job is because it allows me to help people. Every day presents a new challenge and I am proud to be a part of a team that safeguards the health of our community. B. Mention your skills and abilities. I am very detail-oriented. In this field, we must ensure that regulations are met while caring for patients. I can multitask without jeopardizing compliance or results. C. Finally, indicate what you are looking for from the job or employer. I want to belong to a team that values relationships with patients, clients, and has a positive effect on the community. 3. Job History The interviewer will ask you questions about previous jobs and how these experiences relate to the position to which you are applying. Respond with technical information, goals achieved, recognitions, and knowledge acquired that could apply to this job opportunity. 4. Why did you leave your last job? Interviewers want to know why you left your last job to understand how you manage work relationships as well as your ethics and integrity. Focus on positive results. I reached my goal and felt prepared for a greater challenge. Avoid talking negatively about previous employers, supervisors, and colleagues. The interview is not about them. If you left due to negative reasons, do not offer any details that could affect the decision to hire you. You could say something along these lines. After several conversations, we determined that my vision did not match the expectations of my manager, so we decided to part ways. 5. Behavioral Interview Questions These questions will present a specific situation, and you will have to explain how you would manage the situation based on your experience. These questions will test how you adapt to situations with different stress levels, how you handle challenges, as well as your knowledge, prioritization skills, leadership skills, and ability to work in a team. Offer concrete examples demonstrating your skills and past experiences directly related to the job. Include specific results. 6. Why do you want to work for this company? This is an opportunity to show the interviewer what you know about the company and the position. Be specific about what you offer the company, skills, abilities, and interests, and what you enjoy about the company, products, market stability, prestige, competitiveness, culture, and values. 7. Salary Expectations An incorrect answer could cost you the job. Recruiters want to know if they can afford to invest in hiring and training you. By taking into consideration your last salary and the average salary in the local market, you can indicate your salary expectations in ballpark figures or a reasonable range rather than an exact amount. It is acceptable to consider marginal benefits, pensions, and bonuses in the expected salary. I am interested in a position that matches my skills and abilities. I am certain that the company offers a competitive salary. Pursuant to my experience and my research, I believe that forty to $60,000 is a typical annual salary based on the requirements of the position. 8. Do you have questions? Have at least one question ready. You can take this opportunity to ask about important issues that might not have been discussed during the interview process or ask the interviewer to go into detail about the expectations of the position. This not only makes you look interested in the position, but it also shows that you have been listening closely, which makes a good impression. End with a good impression. This is another way to succeed. 
Be mindful of the interviewer's time. Allow the interviewer to complete the interview. Ensure the interviewer knows that you are interested in the job. Ask if there will be additional interviews. Ask when they will make a decision about the candidates. Ask if you can stay in touch until they make a decision. Thank them for the opportunity. Send a thank you message after the interview. The key to a successful interview is to appear focused, attentive, confident, and concise while being dynamic and authentic. The goal should always be authenticity and honesty when answering interview questions. Additionally, you want to advance in the process, so you should give answers that show your skills and share experiences that relate to the position and company. Offer examples of solutions and achievements, but keep your answers short and to the point. Meet the Career Services Team. Contact us at 787-331-9400, extension 6037 or 6056. Careers online at nuke.edu.